So there was a guy called Joe who was coming along to class early on. You know, I mean, I've been going for six years now. You get a different sense of time when you're visiting with people in prison, you know, who are there for a long, long time and who really appreciate when you come back once a year, maybe twice a year, you know, you never really, I never know when I'm going to get back in there and uh, uh, there's a, there was a guy called Joe and I could tell that he'd been in for a long time, there's a, there's a, there's a lifeless look about men who've been incarcerated for a long time, he's very pale and, and drawn and you know, like he'd never seen the sun in a long time. He, he was an incredible songwriter, really wrote amazing country songs, like he'd be great in Nashville, you know, if he had, if he was on another path, you know, and because he wrote, he wrote that in that more modern country style, but with real feeling, you know, and uh, I was very touched by his songs, and uh, he eventually stopped coming to class, and I never knew why, and I did miss him, and uh, the other, the other inmates obviously respected his talent, and uh, Eventually, I, just earlier this year, I got a letter from him, which really surprised me because I hadn't seen him in a long time, and uh, I always wondered what happened. And uh, he'd been tra he'd gone to another prison, and uh, he wrote me a letter, and it really gave me pause. And uh, I don't know what you all do when, you, in, when you're perplexed. I write a song. <laughs> so this song's for Joe. I read your letter late last night Oh, you sorry soul I don't know what you did so bad To put you in the hole Your writing was so neat and clean Your words were so precise But what I heard was a lonely man With nothing but his mind Please continue to write. 